Lucy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a brand new hair tutorial which I cannot wait to show you. So if you think my hair's looking a little bit random, don't worry because we will be sorting it out throughout this video. The hair colour that I'm going to review for you guys today is the Mark Hill Pick and Mix Wand and the wand that I'm actually going to review is the Easy Tong Barrel. There's so many different curling barrels to choose from but I've got this one which has this little handle here that also helps kind of hold the curls and everything I have been heating this up and using a heat proof mat behind me so if I keep kind of twisting around that's where I'm putting this it has heated up it is very hot before I start styling my hair I just wanted to quickly mention that I've done a couple of reviews on the mermaid waver the straight curler so if you want to see what other tutorials I've done with this Mark Hill pick and mix range then I will leave them in the description box below so that you can find them easily the separate barrel for this which I'm using today is $16.99 and I think that's literally a set price against all of them and they are three for two so if you buy multiple barrels up to three you can get one free which I think is really good I've also just thrown in my hair extensions today they're not that blended but I think that the curler wand works so much better on longer hair so if you do have extensions I feel like this curler works so much better in comparison to shorter hair and the straight curler works better with kind of shorter hair but I guess it kind of just depends on what hair you have and your hair type depending on which curler you kind of reach to the most. So I'm just going to start off by sectioning my hair up and curling each part individually. So I have just started off by sectioning the top bit of my hair and leaving the bottom bit down just so that you find it kind of a little bit easier to curl it and show you guys. I also am filming this through my viewfinder so it is very difficult and I'm really hoping that I'm not going to burn myself. But yeah, I'll probably get better results if I use the mirror and whatnot. But this is just like a quick tutorial to show you on how to use it. Something else that I also wanted to mention quickly was I saw a viral TikTok go around about the Mark Hill ones having a plastic film on because someone's curler wasn't working properly or wasn't curling. I've never had an issue with mine and they don't come with plastic covering. So if you're watching this video thinking, does it come with a plastic covering, does it not? They don't and she probably just had a faulty barrel or hadn't even turned it on or plugged it in properly. I don't know why hers wasn't curling. But let's get straight on into the tutorial. So I start off by kind of sectioning my hair up. I like to use bigger chunks of hair rather than small pieces. Um, I also don't use this because I find that it just kind of gets in the way and my hair ends up getting stuck. So I just use it like a normal wand. So you start off at the root, chisel it round, hold it, wait a couple of seconds and let it go. But when you let it go you want to kind of hold the curl in place so that it doesn't fall out. Just turn it around to put it down because I don't want to burn myself. And then you kind of want to make sure that it holds its curl and this is the best way i found to create curls. I'm kind of creating those pin kind of curls. You kind of just get a hair grip. I find using bigger clips easier but I always lose my hair grips, lose my clips everywhere so I don't actually have any at hand. Yeah you just want to get a hair grip and kind of put it through that curl just so that it pins up. You can do that as tight or as loose as you want. I quite like to have like a lo longer gap before the curl so that's why mine kind of droops down a little bit more and then you want to kind of follow that process the whole way around your hair leaving the hair like this you will look stupid but i find leaving that to kind of air out cool down just makes it work so much better it makes the curls last so much longer and especially if you have straight straight hair it's just like such a perfect way and then once you've kind of got your hair all like that you can then use some hairspray just to hold it all together a little bit but obviously I'm going to show you how to carry on doing it so just grabbing my curler start from the top go around hold it for a couple of seconds I also find pointing the one down so much easier rather than if you like point at different angles you could potentially burn your face and whatnot 
but yeah just keeping it like that wait for it to kind of drop out it's so awkward because I have to kind of turn around and then just to hold the curl like this get another grip and it is quite hot to touch you might want to wear the glove that comes with it but I think I've lost my gloves because like I say I actually lose everything I might not have enough grips to do my whole hair but if I get to that point I'll then just take out the first one that I started with and then that's the second one in this side I'm thinking that I'll just do without pinning the curls just so then you can kind of see a difference of the curls and what it looks like because obviously this wand is so versatile that you have those options now I've sectioned off this bit of hair um, you're just gonna curl it again from the top wait a couple seconds make sure you point it down this time I'm not going to catch the curl, I'm just going to leave it loose just so that you can kind of see what that looks like. This is the wave that has been created just using the barrel normally. But you can then kind of like pull it out a little bit more or use thicker pieces if you want the wave to be a little bit thicker. And then grabbing the next piece, following the same sort of process. Like this bit is a lot quicker but like you can see the curls just kind of fall out a little bit easier just run your fingers through it and that's that side done on to the next section honestly it's so quick and so easy to use it i think i'm just taking my time making it a lot longer to kind of sort my hair out just because i'm filming it and whatnot so I've now bought the next sections down. I think I might just continue this side because that's the side that I'm doing at the minute. And it'll just be easier. This time I'm gonna just grab a bigger section. leave it to fall out like that I actually love my hair like this and it's literally midnight as I'm filming this so once I finish filming I'm literally going to take my makeup off and go to bed so really not plan this out well and then moving on to these next sections like I say for this side I'm just gonna like kind of pin curl it Honestly, this is so much harder to pin it when you don't actually have a mirror, but it's semi-pinned and we can tell that it look, kind of looks fine like this anyway, so you don't need to pin it. I'm just showing you the, the difference. My hair is looking honestly so bad at the top. Oh, I forgot to do this bit, didn't I? We'll do this bit, pin it up, and then we'll go from there on the rest of the hair. Something also to mention with the curler is the fact that it comes with just one setting. I don't know what temperature it is, but it is very hot. So you definitely need to use heat protectant or some sort of protectant in your hair. Otherwise... It's going to be a little bit questionable. I feel like that side is kind of done. It's kind of waiting for it to cool down. But once I've unpinned it, I'll probably curl this little bit here, which is my actual hair. This side seems to blend quite nicely. Frame around my face a little bit. With the curler. I just burnt my forehead but it's absolutely fine yeah that's just to be careful when you're curling your hair I think it is just the fact that I am using my view behind it that I just burnt my forehead but it's all fun and games isn't it so this is kind of like the side 
just done you've seen how quick and easy it is to do and i absolutely love it i will take them out in a second to show you the kind of full look and difference but yeah these are the two different methods i would use to curl you have this you do have this feature which i just it's just a little bit too dangerous for me you've already seen me burn my head so i don't use that feature but you can still kind of use it as a normal curler but i'm so impressed with the curls that it comes out with it is now time i'm going to take all these hair grips out i usually use a lot more and i think it's because i'm using the viewfinder that i haven't used too many grips i've probably only done like four or five but we'll just take them out look bigger clips are a lot easier apologies if the quality of the camera has changed my camera keeps overheating and it is honestly so annoying but we just have to deal with what we've got this is the side that i've just taken the pin curls out and you can see it is a lot more kind of held together and stronger compared to this kind of wavy side that is just kind of fall, falling out and a bit looser I tend to do this when I want the hair to stay curlier for longer just because it's an easier process. At this point I would use hairspray but I'm just going to wring my fingers through it and then show you what it looks like. So I usually run my fingers through it rather than brushing it because I find sometimes brushing your hair can make it a little bit frizzy. love like the different textures through this one and then I also like the wavy longness of this one. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you these two different ways that you can curl your hair. I feel like I've not really curled my f my actual hair into these hair extensions. I honestly cannot recommend it enough. This is the finished hairstyle that I have created using that curler. And I just love that there's two different styles of curls that you can create with this. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more if you kind of like use smaller pieces of hair or thicker pieces of hair. You can vary it so much but these are the two main styles that i go for please comment down below which side you prefer whether it's the left side or the right side I'm not sure whether the camera will switch that but yeah if it's the pink curl side or the other side please let me know on which one you prefer i'm kind of torn between the two i think it kind of just depends on the occasion but nonetheless, I absolutely love that curler and it's so quick, so easy, so you definitely need to get your hands on it. If there are any other Mark Hill barrels that you want me to test out, I've got the curler here, I can easily do it. So just comment down below again if you want me to do that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time for another video.